You cannot solve every linear system by graphing. And if you do, it's going to cost you time, accuracy, and the marks you are working so hard to get. Fortunately, there is a strategy that I'm going to show you right now that will save you time, accuracy, and help you show your teacher that you actually understand what you're doing. This method is called substitution. And while it might sound and look scary, substitution really just means taking something and placing it inside something else. And in our case, this means taking one of the lines in a linear system and substituting it into the other in order to find the point of intersection. Here's how it works. Take a look at your linear system and find a line that already has y or x by itself, like this one. Since we know y equals negative x plus four, we're going to take negative x plus four and substitute it into the other equation wherever we see a y. Brackets are gonna be key here so that our signs and operations don't start getting mixed up. Now this is all starting to look pretty messy, so let's clean some things up. We're going to distribute the three into the brackets so that we can start simplifying. Multiplying three by both negative x and four will result in six x minus three x plus 12 equals three. Now we can collect our like terms and subtract 12 over to the other side. Dividing both sides of the equation by three will allow us to solve for x. Woo, x equals negative three. Yeah, but a point has both an x and a y. That's a good point. Remember when you're solving a linear system, you are finding the point of intersection and points need both an x coordinate and a y coordinate. Well, conveniently, we have an expression for y right here. So let's substitute, because it's called substitution, our value for x back into our expression for y. Cleaning things up here results in a y value of seven. So as it turns out, negative three seven is the point that falls on both lines. So negative three seven is our point of intersection. Now the best part about solving a linear system this way is that you can check your answer. To do this, just take your x and y and substitute them back into the original equations as if you haven't had enough substituting. And if you did this right, you should get two true statements, which we do. So we solved this system using substitution, but what if your system doesn't have an X or a Y by itself? Well, we need a whole other scary sounding monster called elimination that you will also need to learn about if you want to become a master of linear systems. System. Which is why you are going to want to check out the next video and I will see you there.